Hello and welcome to the first episode of I Touch Guru. In this uh, first episode, I'm going to show you how to set up SIP VoIP and how to make calls with it. Alright, first you're going to want to go into your installer. After you get into your installer, click Sources, click Edit, click Add, and you're going to want to add the source. It's well, the source is going to be in my. Uh, it's it's going to be in the description of the video, so you don't you don't have to worry about that. But the source is going to be like um, touchmods.net slash rep dot xml or something along those lines. But you'll see it in the uh, actual in video description, so you don't have to worry about that right now. But after you do that, it's going to auto refresh. You're going to click done, and then you're going to click install. And you're going to look for Touch Mods category. After you find that, click it, install the SIP VoIP app. Then it's going to crash you to your uh, summer board after you click the home button. And uh, after it's all crashed and everything, it's going to bring you back here, obviously. And you're going to have your new SIP VoIP app. Now, I have a custom skin. It does not look like this when you first get it. I'll post the uh, link to that skin. Okay. So, um, once you get here... You're going to go to account, and you're not going to have anything filled in for the account. Okay, so to uh, to actually get this working and to talk, well, you actually need a microphone to talk, but um, to hear people on the call, you're going to want to go to the website, voipbuster.com. That's V-O-I-P, buster.com. Once you're there, it's going to bring you to this screen. You're going to click... Mac and Linux users, click here. Even if you're not using Mac or Linux, okay? Click that, and you're going to get to this screen where it's going to ask you for your username, password, and an email address. Fill all, fill all of this uh, account info out. It does not need to be valid uh, email address, as you do not need it. Fill out the confirmation code, then just click register. After you click register, you should be able to go back into your... Uh, into your uh, SIP VoIP app and go into your account info page type in whatever username you made and type in your password and let me just go type this in real quick I'm just gonna cover it with my thumb even though it doesn't really matter if you get it or not <laughs> and then uh, and then for registrar which you're gonna see in the bottom you're just gonna type Sip, S I P dot vo voipbuster dot com. Then you're just gonna click return on the keypad. Then click save. After you have all that account information filled out, you're gonna go to phone and type the number in, and then the following format. You're gonna click this button, this button, then the plus sign, and then one, then your number. So let me type in my number. Alright, it's dialing right now. Let's see if my phone picks this up. But yeah, here it is. Um, it comes in as Okay, and you can talk. Blah, 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 blah. You can't hear because I don't have uh, any kind of microphone plugged in or uh, um, headphones plugged in here, but believe me, it works. So if you're having problems, just uh, ask me, post a comment, and I'll get back to you. This has been another episode of iTouch Guru. Well, not another, first episode of iTouch Guru. I hope you enjoyed it, and there'll be more coming.